Um, all right. So, I've got this full of wood down below, and you want to put some loose kindling leaves. If you don't have paper, you want to put leaves, something very dry and flammable and loose, because we need to get that that part of the flame going and then it's going to suck into the rest of the hard dense wood so it's important to have uh, you just feed the fire slowly um, and that until it gets the rest of the matter burning next to it and once that's going that's it you don't need to feed it anymore um, until it gets low and you don't want it burning straight down you want it burning in the center so Of course, the lighter doesn't work. There we go. So we're going to put it down into the feed tube. Get my little bamboo stick I have here. If you can hear that. being sucked through the system, creating that noise. So we got to keep stoking it. starting to light the wood and other debris, the other kindling here in the center now. seconds it's been maybe a minute and in just that matter of time this is already probably too hot to touch and that just shows how quickly these heat up how hot it burns inside and now this particular feed tube you're looking at maybe I don't know looks about tw I think it's about 12 inches um, maybe a little longer and just in that area is how much we're burning. And it's a six inch pipe, so that's not very much area, but it's extremely efficient and it's plenty to do what we want. Now what you put in there, how long will the how long will the heat last with this that you've just added, this little bit with of wood? Just this amount of wood, it's probably gonna um, burn solid for maybe a couple hours, one to two hours, I think. I'm still documenting, I'm still experimenting, okay. um, but an hour or two mm -hmm. is what I'm finding out. Which um, is very efficient because you barely added yes, it. Yes, which is nothing. If you put yeah. that amount of wood in your fireplace, it'll be gone in Five a few minutes. minutes. Mm -hmm. um, but what is amazing is the heat that uh, just fills this, this greenhouse. Yeah. So I probably don't need to add anymore. I still I hear the fire going, but I just like to get it extra hot. Make sure it definitely has a coal base going. Make sure it's already burning efficiently before I leave it. But that's basically it. Um, and this is going to, like I said, you feed it. It burns right here. Heats up this entire area. It basically creates a vortex of uh, because of the suction from the piping outside the greenhouse and it's going like this down into the other tube in the ground and over and it's just heating up this entire area and once the once the thermal mass feeder has been burning for a while 
um, it gets so warm that even the ground is warm. The sand is warm, and that's perfect for germinating seeds. Um, it, it heats up our, our water, and uh, that's how we maintain, so far this year, this is how we're maintaining uh, the proper temperature in greenhouses. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was informative, and we will be making more soon. Thank you, and God bless. Bye-bye.